Okay, guys, welcome to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to answer another question submitted by a follower. I, um, I'm going to be honest with you. I This is the second take on this because the uh, when I started to answer it the first time, I wasn't prepared. I came to a conclusion halfway through the first recording, through the first take, and then I completely had a, uh, uh, a different... Uh, a different, uh, it, it went in a different direction than when I first started. So rather than just giving you like a uh, kind of like a half ass answer to the question now that I'm better prepared, I can give you the, the full, full, uh, full answer, much more, much more prepared answer to the questions. The question was submitted by Joshua, uh, Joshua Wurstler. What would today you tell you 10 years ago in regards to dog training? So if I could travel back, basically, right? The I'm rephrasing the question. If I could travel back in time 10 years, what would you tell yourself in regards to dog training if you could travel back in time 10 years and see yourself, right? 10 years. So what would today me tell me 10 years ago? And um, here's what I would do, assuming that was even a possibility. This is a, a fun question, so thank you, Joshua, for bringing it up. If I had the ability to to go back, if I had the ability to go back to my previous self in regards to dog training, really anything in general, I think, and if if somebody told me, will you have the option to go back 10 years and maybe give yourself some advice? I wouldn't do it. I would not change a thing. I would do it the same exact way. All the mistakes, all the painful lessons, all the shitty people that I've run into, those all led to really good things. I didn't make a a terrible mistake in my life that ruined my life or ruined somebody else's life. So I'm pretty happy with my choices. Now, had I made a a decision that permanently altered somebody's life for the worst, then yeah, I, I will probably do that again. But I have not done that. Um, I've not ruined my life, <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty happy where I am. Could I expand on where I am today? Definitely. Could I have done some things different that would lead me to a a uh, maybe a, a much more advanced or a, a much more um, mature or or better off version of myself today? Yeah, definitely. But. I'm happy with with where I am in terms of dog training. Okay, this is a very philosophical question and and even though the implication is on on dog training, even though the the theme the topic is on dog training, this is just such a deep question that I'm going to maybe touch a little bit past the dog training part of uh of the question. Yeah, so this this is in terms of anything. Even if I could go back in time, period. It's a funny thing. I just uh, my wife and I were just watching a movie on that, and then I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna make an episode on the podcast." I haven't done one in a few days, so I'm gonna do one real quick. I got a bunch of questions that I saved, so I looked at this question. First question that came up was this one: "What would today you tell you ten years ago in regards to dog training?" So I wouldn't do anything different anything nothing like every mistake i've made every even the times that i get cocky and and too arrogant too complacent led me to lessons that i remember the most that i value the most today just in general i mean i have thought about this before in the past okay not necessarily in regards to dog training but just in general, there have been times where I've I've thought to myself, man, if I could go back, maybe I would do this different and my life would be different today. I have thought about this. 
And even in regards to dog training, I remember thinking, man, if I had just gotten into dog training when I was like 18, if I had just started working dogs when I was younger, how different would my life be now? If I had made a different choice, how different would my life be now? And occasionally, yeah, I think those little demons kind of creep up and tell you, hey, man, your life could be different now if you had just done this different thing. But that's a victim mentality. I, I talked a little bit about that in the in the last episode about the victim type of mentality. And even though all of us at some point have been in that victim mentality, I think just dwelling and, and thinking about the what if just doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, I'm pretty happy with where I am. And uh, and I'm looking at this too as my life is just just a, 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 a grain of sand in the grand scheme of things. Okay, it's just a tiny little fraction in time in my eternal existence. So I chose to be here at this time. I chose to live the lessons and 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 learn the lessons that I'm learning in this lifetime for a higher purpose. And this is just a fraction of a time in the grand scheme of things. And will I have more opportunities to do it again and to do things different and to do things in an entirely different context? Probably. Getting a little bit too philosophical here. But uh, yeah, I don't don't have any regrets. I'm pretty happy where I am. Uh, The dog training school that I went to, I would go to it again a second time if, if I could go back in time, do it the same way. I wouldn't change anything. If you told me you could change a couple of things that would get you a different result, I, I pr- probably wouldn't even want to know that that was an option. And if I did know it was an option, I would just leave it the same way. Maybe what I would do is I would just go back to 10 years ago and uh, and I would just watch. I would just watch and I would go, man, this guy is just not quite getting it. Like he's starting to understand some lessons here. And even though I could probably tell myself, hey, dude, 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 dude. Have you heard of this trainer? You haven't heard of this trainer, okay? You need to uh, you need to do this a little bit different. I think I will probably just leave it alone. You know, I, I my heart's in the right place. I've had the ambition, and I uh, I don't really have any any regrets. Now the interesting thing is I'm holding my book right now, the the latest one that I published, the decoy book. And in the book, I want to read you this quick part actually talks about time travel <laughs> a little bit. So in the introduction here it says, let me find it. But there's a part of on, a part of the book here where I tell myself, yep, it's, a, it's on uh, page four. So as I'm writing this book, as I write this book, right, uh, I'm in the beginning stages of writing the book, I put, this is the decoy book. If I'm getting it from the decoy book. I wanted to put this book together because there are already several materials written about the dog and the training. I wanted to write something that I could go back in time to when I first got the idea that I wanted to work with protection dogs and be able to say to myself, Will, I got a hold of some of the most prominent, talented, skilled, and dedicated protection trainers and decoys of our time. And I put this thing together for you. It'll help you in your journey of being a good decoy, maintain your body in optimal shape, and help you in more ways than just figuring it out on your own. It'll help you learn what took them and me some, so many years to figure out um, what they know. So in this part of the book, as I, I remember writing this too, as I was putting this book together, I, I put it together for kind of the, the aspiring, aspiring decoy. So it was something that I put together that I thought to myself, could I could this be useful to me in the past as I was getting into dog training, into working with protection dogs or with working dogs? That was kind of the basis for how I put the book together. So in the book, I talk about time travel. I talk about me going back to, and I know I'm losing some people here now, talking about time travel, talking about philosophy and life after death and all this stuff. But even though in the book over a year ago, I write about if I could go back in time and hand this book to myself, would I get 
some value out of it, right? The answer is absolutely yes. But this is how I felt about me seeing myself 10 years ago or whenever, I, 12 years ago now when I started this and um, the, um, you know, my, my career. Um, if I could go back, uh, would I give myself this book? Would the book be valuable? Yes. But even though uh, about a year ago, over a year ago when I started to write this, even though that's how I felt about it then for the sake of the book, thinking about it now, I probably wouldn't do it. I would I would not. I would not hand the book back to me. And I'm allowed to change my mind. I could write something today that says, I feel this way about life. And then tomorrow, I have the option and it is my right to change my mind. Right? So when I wrote the book, the first part of the book, the introduction of the book, the beginning stages of the book, uh, I wanted to put together something that I knew I could... Um, that could be useful to somebody who's just getting started using myself when I first got started as a reference, as a point of reference. Even though that was the thought and it made sense to me then, it doesn't make sense to me now. So at this point, if I had the option, even if you told me, well, you wrote this book, it's a great book, it's going to help a lot of aspiring decoys. You were at some point an aspiring helper decoy. So now you have the opportunity to go back in time and give yourself this book. Like you said in the book, like you wrote, you have the option to do that now. I wouldn't do it. I'd be like, I'm having second thoughts. I, I wouldn't do it. I like my life just the way it is. So um, that's how I feel about it. So Joshua, thank you very much for that question. That was an awesome question. Uh, and speaking of the book, the decoy book is on Amazon. Look up William Garrido, William double, uh, William G A double R I D O. Um, if you type William Garrido on the search bar on Amazon, you'll come up, uh, the three books will come up. I'm on the works with a fourth book right now. So stay tuned for that one. So thank you for the question, Josh, Joshua. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.